back. The Amesher Distilling Company in Northeast Portland is making gin and whiskey with a full menu of cocktails and Irish food. And now they're expanding to include the whole family. Cor Harlan is showing us the Emerald Room this morning, where people of all ages can enjoy some food and mocktails. Hey, Cor. Morning, Emily. Good morning, uh, Ken. Here from Northeast Portland, the Amesher Distillery, as you mentioned, uh, has uh, opened up in December here in uh, Northeast Portland. And uh, boy, we want to get as much light on this as possible because this is a pretty cool looking contraption. They make stuff that's pretty good to drink out of all of that hardware there. And it is uh, elaborate and it produces a, uh, some, some really fine tasting whiskey that we have all right here in the front of us here this morning at uh, 5 there no no time like the present for a little whiskey don't don't run away from me this is Christine <laughs> and Steve Hopkins here I have you're not the first person to do that believe me when I walk towards them with this thing they kind of get out of here first of all uh, we talked a little bit about the family friendly nature of a distillery now those two things seem incongruous to me but tell me a little bit Christine about how this got started first well, of all this was started because at the time what we had our son and I felt like um, a lot of the distilleries in town, we weren't able to bring our child, who was an infant, so clearly not grabbing drinks from the countertop, but still wasn't invited. And I felt as a parent, I had to make a choice on whether or not I wanted to have a, a tasting um, or spend time with our son. And so you do both. Yeah, ex <laughs> exactly. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, the Emerald Room, uh, you guys, as I mentioned, open just a perfect timing you had, opening right in the middle of a pandemic, yeah. so it can't get any worse. Right. Can't get any worse. It's yeah. going to get better, right? Uh, the, the the food you're talking, we're here this morning because, of course, the the the, uh, the whiskey, but also the opening of the Emerald Room, food and and drink yeah, together. Yeah, that's right, a, it's a we're a full restaurant and cocktail bar, so. The Emerald Room is to emphasize our wonderful cocktails we make, and we pair those flavors with great food. Um, small bite food, uh, mostly, a little bit of Irish influence, a little bit of Pacific Northwest influence. Like you mentioned, hand pies and steak bites. You had yeah. me at hand pies and steak <laughs> bites. And typically, there'd be chairs kind of lined up here, yeah. and people can kind of kind of just check out uh, this stuff as it's, it's pretty slow work. There's nothing fast about this no. process, right? No, it takes a... It takes many hours of running, and uh, but you can sit here and hang out and watch us do our work and have a nice cocktail and eat a little bite. Watch how your stuff is made. Check out these. We've got about a minute left to go here. We're going to mix a drink up here in a second, but check out the different shades. These are different colors. I don't know if the camera will pick up the distinctions in the color or not, but they're different color because of the uh, barrels that they've been aged in. Yeah, we do. We bottle all our barrels separate right now, and... Uh, they're supposed to be all the same on paper, but they just deviate through time, and you can come taste the differences uh, and how they've aged differently. It's right, let's, let's, let's put together a drink here. Lisa's over there. She's up this morning, the bartender, Carl. And while you do that, come on over here, yeah. both of you. I want to just ask you, too, about the, the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the uh, that looks like a good drink already. <laughs> yeah, what Lisa's is that she's making? Amazing uh, bar director. Um, What's she making? She's making a gin and tonic. Is that what you said? No, no. This is uh, one of our Ruby house cocktails, cocktails the sorry. Ruby Rose. Uh, now, this is a frozen rose right there. If you're wondering what that is, that is a real rose, right? No, it's a rose ice cube. Oh, rose ice cube. Oh, there I go. Lisa yeah. Freezes uh, various things in there to make it darker and lighter at the tips. Um, wow. Yeah, Lisa and Christine invented all these uh, great cocktail ice cube combinations. And How do you make a frozen? Ice cube yeah. like out of a rose. That must that's take some kind of doing. Yeah. That's a secret. That's that's the special sauce yeah. right there. Hey. Yeah, that's what you have to come and experience at the Emerald Room. That is a special sauce. Now that is the signature cocktail. That is a what? It's a Ruby Rose. Ruby Rose, right there, from Amsher Distillery this morning in Northeast Twenty First and Oregon, right there. Baby, look at that. Now, that looks almost good enough to drink even at 5.30 in the morning, my friends. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's right afternoon there. somewhere. Look at that ice cube starting to melt. 5.30. Oh, it I is afternoon like somewhere. I'm glad you... Yeah. Right. AM, PM, it's, it's light out most of the day. It's light out. It's light enough to have a ruby red cocktail, I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, that's beautiful. Mm. Uh-huh, it is. They don't want us drinking on TV anymore.
<laughs> so we'll wait. But that okay. Is okay. Wait for the wait for the commercial. Delicious, Lisa. That's too classy of a cocktail for <laughs> Core. Mm -hmm. That's too pretty. Yeah, yeah very like it. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Thanks, Core. We'll check back in with you soon. Uh huh. We'll see how the next hour goes. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's talk uh, weather and traffic right now. Steve is in for Kelly this morning. Yep. And uh, Steve, are we going to have our temperatures rising throughout the course of the week, or pretty much the way it's supposed to be? You know, we're going to be in the 80s today, but then we're going to cool off midweek. We'll have more oh, morning okay, clouds. Good, so if good. you like it cool, we'll yeah. wait until about Wednesday, Thursday, and then I get your wish. All right. Uh, no triple digits coming. I know that much, which wow. is fine by me because.